National Canine Lymphoma Awareness Day is observed each year on November 7th to help draw attention to the prevalence of this deadly disease and the advances being made in treating it. Highly regarded dog agility trainer Terry Simons founded an organization called CLEAR, Canine Lymphoma Education Awareness and Research, and National Canine Lymphoma Awareness Day in honor of his dog Reveille, who died from the disease. Today, the increased awareness of canine lymphoma and ongoing research efforts promoted and supported by these types of organizations and events are leading to a better understanding of the disease and how best to treat it. Lymphoma is a type of cancer that is common both in dogs and in people. Lymphoma is one of the most common canine cancers, accounting for 7-24% to of all canine tumors and 85% of all blood-based tumors. In dogs, Lymphoma actually refers to a group of approximately 30 different cancers that originate in the lymphocytes, a type of white blood cell that helps fight infection and is found throughout the body but especially in organs that support the functioning of the immune system such as the spleen, bone marrow, and lymph nodes. Consequently, lymphoma tends to target those areas, although it can affect any organ in the body. The four main types of lymphoma found in dogs are extranodal lymphoma, mediastinal lymphoma, alimentary lymphoma, and multicentric lymphoma. Multicentric lymphoma is the most common form, at approximately 80% of all lymphoma cases. Each type of lymphoma has its own characteristics including how aggressive the disease is and the expected survival rate. Lymphoma typically progresses very rapidly, and the average survival rate for untreated dogs after a diagnosis is only 4 to 6 weeks. The cause of canine lymphoma is unknown, and experts believe that there are likely many genetic and environmental factors that play a role. Exposure to chemicals or toxic substances like herbicides is one area that is being explored. Exposure to radiation or electromagnetic fields may be another factor. Several factors have been identified as predisposing a dog to developing lymphoma. The disease is more common in dogs that are 6 years of age or older, but can even strike in younger dogs. There appears to be an increased incidence of canine lymphoma in certain breeds including Golden Retrievers, Chow Chows, Scottish Terriers, Boxers, St. Bernards, Poodles, Basset Hounds, Bull Mastiffs, Airedale Terriers, English Bulldogs, German Shepherds, and Beagles. A dog's sex does not seem to be a factor in developing canine lymphoma, although there are reports that spayed females may have a better prognosis. Research into the genetic and chromosomal factors that affect a dog's likelihood of developing cancer is ongoing. The symptoms of canine lymphoma vary widely based on the type. With multicentric lymphoma, the first sign of the disease is swelling of the lymph nodes. This swelling tends to be most noticeable to pet owners in the dog's neck, chest and behind the knees. Often there is no other sign of illness initially. If the cancer is not treated, dogs with canine lymphoma tend to develop fever, lethargy, weakness, dehydration and weight loss as the disease progresses. Dogs with alimentary lymphoma will typically display vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal pain, and weight loss. Those with the mediastinal form of the disease develop lesions in the chest cavity that cause shortness of breath and coughing. They may also have swelling of the front legs or the face and increased thirst resulting in increased urination. The symptoms of extranodal lymphoma are different depending on the organ affected and can include blindness, kidney failure, seizures, bone fracture, and respiratory distress. On this day event is an educational project. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe our channel.